Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you more about layers in Grid Pencil. So, if you first time using Grid Pencil, you might be a little bit confused, even though you know the idea of layers. Say you are a veteran user of a Photoshop and um, you have a great concept about layer, but you will find layers a little bit weird in Grid Pencil, especially uh, if you're using layers uh, the normal way, like you are using any other software, okay? So let me show you. First, let me just delete everything, and then Shift A, and let's just add a monkey. But if you add monkey this way, you will get a 3D monkey, and uh, that's not what I want. So here is another step, Shift A. Uh, yeah, I think I might just need to get the screencast key switch on, so sorry about that. Okay, uh, once I got screencast key uh, switch on, you can actually see what key I'm holding. Shift and A. First, it's not add the object, but rather you need to add a grid pencil. And uh, let's add the monkey in grid pencil. This way, uh, we get this uh, like a monkey, but it's in grid pencil. It's like line and feel. So in grid pencil jargon, uh, the content inside is the feel, and uh, the outline, like the black one here, is called lines. So let me just show you how it is um, like uh, how to adjust the layers and how to uh, like use the layer the grid pencil way. All right. So first, of course, once you got the ending of the grid pencil object, even though it's empty grid pencil object, you can change that to draw. If you can't find the draw mode, that's because you haven't got any grid pencil object added to your um, scene and you haven't choose uh, the grid pencil object, okay? So very simple. You have to add every changes while using grid pencil while selecting at least one grid pencil object. So all the data that you created will be attached to that specific grid pencil object, okay? So you need a sort of container for that object, uh, for all that data to be, to be held, okay? So right now, any changes, I draw or uh, I using draw modes uh, will be stored in this is Suzanne and uh, if you guys can see is grease pencil object okay so grease pencil is not actually a pencil but rather it's a kind of a data format uh, that uh, use as a container all right so let's continue um so if you look at here this is data okay and uh, as I said before if you want you know like increase your efficiency, uh, you'd better just uh, press N and change that to tool. So you can uh, like change the brushes here with ease while you can change the different layers at, at right here. Okay, so it's a sort of like, a, you know, the, the Photoshop sort of uh, layouts and uh, I love this layout. I, uh, I mentioned this in my previous tutorial. Okay, so if you want to check it out, there is a, a completely free playlist of 100 days of Grid Pencil where we're going to long Grid Pencil together. Okay, and I'm going to share uh, uh, tips and tricks that I learned. So um, I, I might spend a few days uh, walking this out, uh, but uh, for you, just a few minutes, so you can save your time, okay? So if you look at layers here, we got lines and we got fields. That's so interesting. It's it's not like, um yeah, you, you, you have to do lines and lines layer, you have to do fields in fields layer, but it's just uh, some demonstration that how layers can be organized, all right? So first, let's uh, talk about some of the layer um, operation that you can do is very similar to other software but uh, you have to remember where to find it okay so first let's just treat this as a 2d canvas not as a 3d um, sort of a um, um, scene okay so what I'm gonna do is to use the orthographic view okay and uh, uh, I'm going to change that to maybe uh, let's just object mode and change that view to you know, uh, maybe one, okay? So we got a front view, look at here. And then I can change that to draw mode. And if you treat this way, um, you will just be treated as a 2D canvas. And you can draw on it, you can add animation on it. Uh, but it's more than that. Uh, but uh, let's just uh, deal with this way, okay? So we got a line and we got a field. So which layer is more like a front? Uh, which layer is more back. Uh, if you look here, we can hide the layers, okay? So this way we can know where uh, where it goes, okay? So if you hide, 
you can see that uh, clearly the line is a little bit above the field uh, below okay so if, if, you, if you hide it you can see this is a field okay and uh, if you hide the field you got the line okay and of course you can change the order and if you just select this and you can make it like the move the grease pencil uh, layer up or down in the list so if you click it it will go up but it's uh, already pretty up so you, you can only go down if you go down you can see the field is uh, more up front and the line is the downward sometimes different software have different like the order of layers so for example uh, in unity uh, it's a game engine i uh, uh, if you don't know i uh, i have another channel called code with Rinjami where i uh, like to make my digital asset back to life uh, bring the digital asset i'm making in this channel to to, to to the game to the indie game that i'm making so yeah if you're interested um, you're more than welcome to go to check it out and um, uh, so in Unity, um, the, the engine like if you were looking back uh, like from below, so so the order of the layers is a, sort of like a flipped. Um, but here, uh, the more up the layer is, uh, the more front the layer is. So this is the thing that you have to like know that intuitively, intuitively, especially if you have multiple layers. So for example, if you add more layers, you add that, you automatically add a layer above. So it will be more front and like a like a GP layer, grease pencil layer, and then you can you can draw like a draw uh, whatever on here. And of course, uh, if you want this to be like let down below, you can just uh, move it down below. It will just completely uh, hide all this thing. So the, the I think the outline um, should be at the uh, at the utmost layer. That's because if you you put it down, you got uh, like a meaningless, okay. And of course, you can just treat all this uh, um, because this right now is two D canvas. You can just treat it as any of the drawing software. You can change the opacity of different layers, and you can change the blend mode. So right now it's a regular. You can add, you can subtract, you can multiply, you can divide. You can get all sort of um, um, you know the yeah I think. Um, you can get all sort of effects by doing this okay and uh, right now let's just stick with regular but we can change opacity the result is amazing okay so you can have a layer but you don't want the layer to you know show too much you can just decrease the opacity and you got like a subtle effect okay so it's just um, you know the same old stuff just like photoshop so uh i, I don't think this required clarifying but here's a really neat tool here and uh, you seldom notice this and uh, i omit this for a pretty long time so uh, i just want to save you guys a little bit of time so it's here we got a downward arrow that we got layer specials. So it, uh, normally I would say that uh, uh, software, if you right click it, you can get more options. Uh, of course, if you are use, using Photoshop, you can get some more options down below, so I say like a mask uh, operation, something like that. But in Blender, right now at least for 4.0.2 or 3 version, right now as I record this, uh, you have to click this uh, downward button and you can get the layer special. So for example, um, if you are doing some animation and you want to duplicate a certain layer and you want to move it to a certain places, okay? Or you want to say, um, make multiple objects um, that, uh, for example, some grass and trees that you want beautiful environments, but you don't want to draw that, uh, you know, manually. So the line art or the feel or the color or whatever things that you want to duplicate can be achieved using this special maneuver. Okay, so just uh, click this down arrow, okay, and you can duplicate. And you can duplicate empty keyframe, you can show all, you can unlock all, uh, but uh, some of the functionality already uh, bring out to a very convenient shortcut, which I will demonstrate later. Right now, it is that I think duplication is one of the things that I do most. So if you don't know duplication, uh, where duplication is, it's here. Okay, just click it, you can duplicate the layer. So for example, if I can duplicate the fill, okay, and I can say decrease, the opacity of the field and i can show the opacity uh, the, the the field that down below okay so i can uh, you know change the uh, the field down below i can still see the changes that's because i got a uh, like a nearly transparent uh, field opacity uh, layer above it so you can see through and see what's going on down below okay
and of course you can uh, if you don't need it you can just uh, simply delete it by clicking this remove layer and it's, it's gone okay and one of the most important thing and re really convenient tool that I, uh, I encounter is here okay so let me, let me let me just quickly show you so if you look at here we got this isolation layer uh, it's like a kind of a computer icon if you click here you can just isolate a specific layer that you choose this is really really helpful especially if you want just a single out a certain thing that you want to modify so for example you want uh, you know uh, change the uh, line art something like that so you might just um, need to click this line uh, isolate it okay so you got less distraction and uh, you can use color attribute let me just use really black and and maybe marker sort of thing and uh, I'm going to shift and hold that to change the canvas and maybe add some uh, you know some crown of this uh, of, of our Suzanne so okay so got a really nice crown so we king of monkeys okay we got our king of monkeys here so once you've done that you know that you got a liar then you can work on the field okay and then you can de-isolate this and uh, then you can add say another field layer that can, can fill this crown okay so this isolation is very very convenient very helpful but if you don't want to hide the other layer while you are doing specific thing you can use something like this the lock okay you can isolate a uh, lawyer toggle whether the active layer is only one that can be edited and visible okay so if you click, click here so for example still let's go to the line up and get rid of this uh, like a crown layer yeah i think i uh did i yeah i think i just uh, mess up with the layer the, the, the line is uh, is added on the um the original layer oh, sorry about that yeah yeah uh, lines uh, on, on, on this layer yeah no, it doesn't really matter okay so if you, you want to add a specific thing but without without changing other parts so for example all this uh Suzanne monkeys that is, is your work and uh, you pretty much finish the main part of your art but you want to save it you don't want it you know accidentally like like me accidentally adding crumb and uh, like destroy the whole original uh, Suzanne okay so if you don't want to do that you can add a layer okay this is the layer let me just change it you double click and change it so some test experiment that you would do and say you want uh, you know just uh, lock everything else you can just uh, do this okay click this lock icon and everything every layer the rest of the work that you have already done will not be destroyed okay anything that you do will only like uh, work on this test layer so for example let me just uh, add something crazy like uh, you know like a cheeky uh, cheeky sort of monkey okay and maybe add some uh, you know uh, crown like this uh, I'm not sure okay uh, maybe uh, you know it's crying cheeky little monkey sort of thing okay you can do that you can do this experiment and it won't affect anywhere else and you can unlock this and you can hide it and see this uh, effect and see the results okay this is really really convenient and uh, i i think i use this too a lot and use this mainly right now for duplication okay and uh, yeah that's uh, that's it so uh, a free uh, a quick takeaway for this video is that first the higher the layer is um the more front you will get the second is that uh, you can change the um the order by click here the third is that uh, you can change more special things by click this uh, little icon that you need to find and uh, then it's, uh, it's two, uh, yeah, like a two toggle mode you can toggle um, whether you want to isolate this specific layer and hide everything else or you want to just uh, you know uh, lock this layer that uh, you only change this layer and the rest of it is locked okay and, and um, yeah that's uh, that's the main essence for this video okay so thanks so much don't forget to subscribe my channel and give this video a thumb up if you think my video is helpful and if you're rich you're more than welcome to join the patreon i got more things to share and uh, yeah thanks for the support see you in the next video bye